What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect here. In this video, I'm going to be sharing two different masking techniques that you can use to isolate different portions of your footage or 3D elements and composite them into your scene more seamlessly. The first technique is very simple masking inside of Blender, and the second one, which is a little bit more advanced and in my opinion is much more useful for a more complex shot, is using a holdout element in your 3D space in order to mask out whatever is behind it. Anyways guys, let's get started. Here we are inside of Blender. This is the scene setup that we'll be working with today. This is a 3D scene setup that I created for our weather effects add-on for Blender trailer. I've used the heavy hail particle system here to add some hail effects to our scene. And then I have a very basic uh, you know, collision plane so that the hail kind of bounces off the ground here. And uh, you know, if I go to rendered view, this is uh, kind of the effect we're getting. And I have two different view layers here. I have one for our foreground hail elements, and then I have our uh, second view layer here, which is our shadow catcher, which as you can see here, contains all the shadows of our different hail pieces. And uh, in the compositing tab here, we have our uh, different view layers combined uh, on top of our live action shot. So this is the scene where we will be masking out our character here and uh, overlaying her on top of some of the CG elements in our scene as uh, right now she is intersecting with some of the CG elements here. And uh, as you can see here on the right side, our scene setup is fairly simple. We just have a you know very basic hail emitter here that we've added through weather effects. And we just have our second collection here, which is just our ground shadow plane here. So very simple setup. I'll just do a quick render to show you what we're starting out with. All right guys, so this is our initial composite here and it's an okay look, but as you can see by our character's feet, you'll notice that our uh, hail that's on the street behind our character here is actually being overlaid on top of our character's feet. And some of the hail that's falling in the background behind our character is uh, falling in front of our character here. So the first technique I'm going to show you guys is just using a very basic mask to mask out our character and separate her from our uh, elements in the background. So I'll go ahead and close our window here. And this is our compositing node setup and I'm just going to go to our masking tab and if you don't have a masking tab you can just click on the plus button go to visual effects and then click on masking but uh, this is our footage and um, what we can do here is we can click on new and it's going to create a new mask for us I'll label this mask I'll call it character and uh, then I'll just zoom in and I'll just uh, press control click and uh, start going around our character so we can isolate her from our uh, other CG elements that we've added to our scene So I've just gone around our entire character here and to close the mask, I'll just click on the point where we started it. And now we have a mask completely surrounding our character. And um, of course, if your shot is moving, you may need to click on the auto keying button here and uh, frame by frame, you may need to rotoscope out your character and uh, animate your mask. Since our shot is fairly simple and it's just a very basic tripod track, one thing we can do instead of rotoscoping, however, is just select our entire mask and then hold down shift as we select this tracking point that's uh, close to our character and then I'll just press control P and now our mask is parented to this tracking point so that as the camera moves in the scene, this uh, mask stays surrounding our character. So depending on the complexity of your shot, you might not be able to do that. So you might have to rotoscope and keyframe uh, your entire mask here, which is a little bit more complex, but the concept remains the same. Anyways, we've created our mask here. Now let's go back to our compositing tab. And what we want to do is we want to use that mask data to separate our character from the hail that's uh, overlaid on top of her. So to do that, first we need to find where our hail is being added to our scene. So I've set up this composite so that our foreground view layer here, this is all of the hail that we're adding on top of our footage. And uh, you know, we've added some color correction to it and whatnot, and um, eventually overlaid our hail on top of our scene using this alpha over node. So as you can see, if I bring this down to zero, now we no longer have the hail on top of our footage. So this input right here is where the hail is being added on top of our shot. So I'll bring that back to one. And now let's use that mask to isolate and uh, hide our hail from the portion of the footage where the character is in our footage here. So I'll press shift A, I'll add an input mask, 
and then I'll choose the character mask that we have created, and then I'll press Shift A again. I'll add a converter, set alpha, and then I'll put this set alpha node right before our alpha over node. And then what we're going to do is we're going to connect our mask data to the alpha channel of this set alpha node. And now, as you can see here, our uh, hail is overlaid only where our character mask is. So we want the exact opposite of this effect. So to do that, we'll just press Shift A again. I'll go to color invert and add this right before our uh, input for our set alpha node and now we have our character masked out from our uh, hail element so this is how you can create and use a mask to overlay a certain part of your footage back on top of your CG elements that you've added to your scene. However, this is not necessarily the best way to do this all the time because in a lot of shots, the CG element is in the foreground and the background of the image. So this kind of two dimensional mask isn't going to work very well because ideally we would want to have some hail coming in front of our character here if it was, uh, you know, supposed to be closer to the camera. We really just want to isolate our character from the hail falling in the background as well as the hail on the street in the background, but we want all of the hail that's in the foreground of our shot to uh, show up as it was originally. So the best way to do masking is actually to use a holdout element within the 3D space of your scene so that it only masks out certain elements based on the depth you provide it. So I'll go ahead and delete our character mask as well as our invert and set alpha node and I'll reconnect our composite back together and let's try this holdout mask method instead to get a little bit better result. So I'll go back to layout mode and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some very simple geometry around our character here and then we're going to use that as a mask holdout. So I'll press shift A and I'll just add a very basic plane to our scene and I'll move it up here and I'll rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees and I'll just scale this down and put it by our character's head here and just kind of line it up like so. And what we want to do is we want to put it in 3D space where our character would be in the CG environment. So I'll go ahead and just scale it up really quick and bring it down by our ground plane. Go back to camera view here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab our plane here on the Y axis and just drag it where I uh, want the masks to be in uh, Z space here. So I think for this tutorial, probably this uh, hail piece right here should be behind our character's feet. So what I'm going to do is I'll take our little plane here that we've added and I'll make sure that it's in front of that hail piece and probably also in front of our two hail pieces here as well so I'll grab it again and move it a little bit more forward something like that and now what we're going to do is we're going to create the general shape of our character here and then we're going to use this geometry to mask out all of the hail that's behind it so all of the other hail that's in the foreground of the shot will be unaffected so I'll just grab our plane here put it up by our character's face now that we've got it in the right area of Z space I'll put it by our character's face I'll go to edit mode while it is selected and I'll select the bottom two points here and I'm just going to scale it up here and I'm going to extrude it and just kind of create the general shape of our character with this geometry now depending on your shot you may need to be more precise that just depends on you and how precise you want to be but I'm just going to do this in the most simple way to get the idea across for the sake of this tutorial All right, so I've just done a very basic CG outline of our uh, character here. And now as I go back to object mode, you'll notice that it's just kind of a central of our character, but it's actually within the 3D world. So you can probably guess that this is going to be a lot more accurate. Now to use this as a holdout mask on this foreground layer where we have our hail elements, what we need to do is we need to press M and add it to a new collection. And I'll just call this character holdout click OK. And now if I go to rendered view and if I go to our character holdout collection and I press the holdout button, you'll notice that behind our character's legs here and in the background, any hail that's falling or is on the ground behind our character is actually being masked out by this element. So by recreating some of the geometry in your scene and using it as a mask holdout, you can mask out those elements and integrate them into your environment much more seamlessly. So for this technique, I don't even have to do anything extra in the compositor because it's being done right in the view layer here with this element just by enabling this holdout option 
on our collection that contains it. And if I want to do the same thing for the shadow catcher in the background, I can just go to our character holdout here and enable it as a holdout on this view layer as well. And now any of the shadow that would be rendered in the background behind our character is being masked out by this holdout geometry as well. So now of course, all I have to do is just go to render and render image and Blender will spin out that image using that geometry as a mask holdout layer with no other masking or compositing required. All right, guys, so this is our composite with our holdout mask enabled on our character. And as you can see here, it's hiding our 3D assets that are only behind our character in 3D space, which is exactly what we want it to do and helps integrate our CG elements into our environment much easier. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Let us know what you'd like to see next on the channel, and I'll see you next time.